It all starts by going into my Zettelcast and in Rome, seeing how I can use those ideas to create new original content. Where Notion really shines, in my opinion, is in project management. So they say an image is worth more than a thousand words, a video is worth more probably than a million words. Hello fellow creator, welcome back to the channel, the best spot on YouTube for creative productivity and growth. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the five apps that changed my life and how I use them as a creator on my day to day. So let's get started with the first app and that is Instapaper. Right, Instapaper is an app that you can save all your articles into it and then read them whenever you have the time. So before, if I had an article that I really liked and wanted to read in the future, I would put this in my bookmarks. But the problem with this, by seeing all these articles, all these videos that I had saved and I had to process. I developed a little bit of anxiety. There was so much backlog that I had to go every single week. But with this paper, what I can do instead is save those articles directly into it and then process them whenever I have time. So I'm still saving those things. I'm catering to that FOMO reality that we all have. But because Instapaper serves as its own inbox, I can go search within it when I'm trying to find a specific article. And then because I have this on my phone, it's very easy to read on the go. And what's more is that the reading experience on Instapaper is a lot better because everything is ad free and all the articles are formatted the same way. So for example, let's open an article here, the list of end things by Paul Graham. And you'll see that all I have on my screen here is just seeing the article and all the words in it without any extra clutter, without anything that I don't need to get the information that I need. And then finally, the greatest thing about Instapaper is that I can quickly go into an article and highlight the parts that resonate with me the most. So for example, Paul Graham here talks about this idea that the list of end things is the cheeseburger of essay forms in the way that when you go to a restaurant and you suspect is bad, your best bet is to order the cheeseburger because even a bad cook can make a decent cheeseburger. So I think that's a very nice idea. So all I'm going to do is select that, select that entire area, and then click the sharper here, which is highlighting that part. And by doing this in all the written form that I'm consuming, whether it's articles, whether it's essays, or even PDFs, I can highlight and then save the best bits so that I can use that information later as my own research for articles or even for scripts for YouTube videos like this one. It's very easy to save anything to Instapaper. All you have to do is get the browser extension on Chrome and then click it every time you want to save it. And that will send the article automatically to Instapaper. And then because this is all connected to my Zettelcast, and the second app that changed my life is Rome Research. Right, so Rome is my one-step shop for everything that relates to creativity and note-taking. It serves as my Zettelcast, and I have a course exactly on how to build a Zettelcast in Rome. Link in the description if you want to check that out. Right, so let's talk about on how I use Rome. So everything that I consume, articles, videos, books, podcasts, I take a lot of smart notes as I'm consuming the content, and then those notes make their way into my Zettelcast and in Rome. So for example, here we have Show Your Work, a book by Austin Kleon, something that I read a while back and you'll see that I have here the book summary of that book. Now, over the years, I've been publishing a lot of book summaries on my blog. And so just by using my notes, I'm able to create very quickly a book summary of something that I've read. Articles also come here. For example, Derek Sivers, obviously you, amazing to others, very good article. Here are my notes, all the ideas that I decided to save. And then here on the left, you'll see that I had the inbox of everything that I still have to process in terms of smart notes that I've taken from everything that I'm consuming. And so basically, anytime that I want to create a new original piece of content, whether that's articles, a YouTube script for a video like this, or creating a book summary of a book that I really like, it all starts by going into my Zettelcast and in Rome, seeing my notes, seeing how I can use those ideas to create new original content. So Rome doesn't have an app for mobile yet, but you can use it as a web app through Safari. And that will allow you to do quick capture of ideas, thoughts, or links that you want to save. And then everything is going to sync automatically when you use the Rome on desktop. And Rome is that kind of app that the more you use it, the more content you put on it, the more notes you take on stuff, the more valuable it becomes over time. Another thing that I do in Rome extensively are my weekly reviews. I do this on a Friday and I write all the things that I did in my week, the plus, the minus, and the next type of journal. There are many more use cases that I use it for, for example, interstitial journaling or morning pages, for example, basically anything that has to do with writing ideas and creating new content. And so, for example, after creating a YouTube script on Rome, I'll need the input for my team. And I find that the best app for workflow and team management is Notion. Right, so I've talked about how I use Notion extensively in a few of the last videos. Where Notion really shines, in my opinion, is in project management. So, for example, on the left, you can see here that I organize Notion according to the Para method. This is something that I've talked in a previous video, and that means projects, areas, resources, and archives. So, for example, one of my areas is this YouTube channel. And the page for the project management of that is videos home base. So, what you can see here, all these cards are all the videos that I have on the pipeline from idea to being published. So it all starts by having the idea, then I'll move it to write a script, then I'll review the script if I have to, ready to film, which is what I'm doing now. Edit, it goes to my editor. Now it gets to work. And when that's done, it pushes that card into the review edit. When we have the final published version, it will go into to publish and then finally move to the end of that process when the video gets published on the channel. So this is what's called a content calendar. You can use the same idea if you're running a blog. I have another content calendar for my blog, for social media. And I use the same sort of Kanban style when I'm creating a new course. And I talked about team management before and Notion really shines here because for example, I can add a comment here saying, I want this type of edit to my editor and he can 
reply back to me and I'll get a notification saying that it replied to me. And another great thing about Notion are templates. I use the same template for all my videos. I just need to create that template once and then it's very easy to replicate. Let's create a new one so you see it. Like so, template test. I open this and you'll see here that it shows the template, new video template. I click that and then it's gonna autofill that template, which is the template that I use for all my videos. But sometimes writing it down for my team is not enough. For some of the tasks, it's much better to be visual in the way that I explain things. And when I wanna do that, the tool that I really like to use is Loom. Now this video is not sponsored, even though it should, because I talk about Loom so much. All right, let's open Loom here. So Loom is a screen recording app and it does one thing and one thing very well. It allows you to record your screen as you're doing something. And it also records your microphone so you can speak as you explain something. So here's one of the that I use this. Before, I used to do these written playbooks with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a specific task. Now, that took a lot of my time. And what I found, it was not the ideal process. It was not the most streamlined you can have. And I also found out it was not the best way to explain things. So what I do now instead is just start recording my screen, speaking as I'm explaining the steps to complete a certain task. And then when you finish, you click stop recording and that gets automatically updated immediately to the cloud. And then you have a link to your specific video. All you have to do is copy that link and send to a member of your team. So they say an image is worth more than a thousand words, a video is worth more probably than a million words. There's no time to explain. So I use Loom whenever I need to delegate something to my team. But better than delegated, remember the EAD principle is automating stuff. And for automating stuff, my favorite app is Zapier. So Zapier is an app that lets you connect other apps and automate your workflows. And this works with triggers and actions. So for example, here I'm connecting Gumroad where I'm selling a digital course that I made with ConvertKit, which is my email list manager. Automations in Zapier are called zaps. And so what this zap is doing is whenever I sell one unit of that course, that person gets automatically added to my email list and gets added tag in ConvertKit. And that allows me to know who bought that product because then I just simply have to look at the tag. Now Zapier connects so many apps that there's so much you can do with it. So what you can do to make the most of Zapier is to think what are the tasks that I'm doing that include multiple apps? And odds are that Zapier can do that automation instead of you doing it manually. And because of that, you don't need to constantly update stuff and Zapier will run automatically for you even when you're sleeping. Made automatically at the time. So these are the five apps that changed my life. If you want to know more about all the apps that I use in my MacBook Pro, all you have to do if you're inclined is to click here to go watch that video. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.